On August 16, 1917, Rita Johnson Young and Sigmund Roberts' play with music, Maytime, opened at Broadway's Schubert Theater, pre-COVID home of To Kill a Mockingbird. Nowadays, every once in a while, a Broadway show will transfer from one theater to another. Some recent shows that have done this include The Lion King, Les Miserables, and The 39 Steps. Maytime seemed to have an interesting road to paradise during its Broadway run of 492 performances. On February 18, 1918, Maytime transferred to the 44th Street Theater, which was raised in 1945. Part of the New York Times building stands on that spot today. On April 1st, 1918, the show transferred to the Broadhurst, pre-COVID pre Broadway home of the Alanis Morissette's musical Jagged Little Pill. Was this paradise found? Ah, paradise lost. On August 5th, 1918, it transferred to the Lyric Theater, which was combined and rebuilt into the current Broadway theater of the same name, which was the pre-COVID Broadway home of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. But wait, there's more. The Broadhurst must have been the show's paradise, because on September 9th, 1918, the show transferred back to the Broadhurst, where it played the remainder of its run, closing on October 19th, 1918. Maytime may quite possibly be the show that transferred the most times during its Broadway run, ever. Even though it transferred so many times, Maytime was the second longest running book musical of the 1910s. Singman Roberts' first Broadway outing was the 1914 musical review, The Whirl of the World. In the ensuing four years, Romberg contributed music to 18 Broadway shows. Maytime's success helped establish Romberg as one of the leading creators of operettas. As we have said, Baltimore-born Rita Johnson Young was a woman of many talents. She and Romberg worked on several shows together but she also teamed with Jerome Kern, Victor Herbert, Ernest Ball, and William Schroeder, in addition to the plays and screenplays she wrote. Young's next show on Broadway, following Maytime, was, oddly enough, Sometime, which our number is from. Maytime closed, as we said, on October 19, 1918. Sometime opened two weeks earlier on October 4. And she had another show open in November 1918. As we said earlier, the woman wrote over 500 songs. Here to sing Romberg and Young's The Road to Paradise from Maytime is Matthew Norris, who is appearing with us the first time this year, and Katie O'Shields, who made her summer sock debut in Mary Poppins. <laughs> I've tried. 